वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फोर्टीन एट फोर्टी गेट फायर वॉल मोड सो यूजली वी आर गोइंग टू हैव टू मोड वन इज गोइंग टू पे द राउटर स्लैश नेट मोड एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द ट्रांसपेरेंट मोड सो आई होप यू आर गोइंग टू इंजॉय दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू डू डो नॉट फर्गेट टू लाइक कॉमेंट्स एंड शेयर एंड आई ऑल्सो रिकमेंड यू टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल क्लिक ऑन द वे लाइक एंड टू गेट न्यू नोटिफिकेशन बिकॉज i'm going to make new videos regarding network security routing switching and all the stuff so when you click on the bell icon you will definitely get the new notification so let's get start discussing about the modes so first of all i'm going to discuss about 40 gate 40 net firewall routed slash net mode 40 net 40 gate firewall can operate in one of two modes so first one is going to be the routed slash net mode and another one is going to be the transparent mode so transparent mode fortinet fortigate firewall it is usually used between a private network and the internet where this allow the fortinet fortigate firewall to hide the ip addresses of the private network using net so on the other hand we have one more modes which is going to be the transparent mode so the transparent mode fortinet fortigate firewall is installed between the internal network and the router so in this mode fortinet fortigate firewall doesn't make any changes to the ip addresses which only applies security scanning to traffic so when fortinet firewall is in the transparent mode transparent mode no network changes are required except management ip addresses so in this mode is usually required when we need to have our network more secure so i'm going to show you by drawing 14 and 40 gate firewall routed slash net mode and the transparent mode so first of all i'm going to show you the net mode so in this net mode our 40 gate firewall will be connected to the isp directly so for example this is going to be the isp isp and then isp is connected to the Fortigate firewall. Ng firewall. So this is going to be our Fortigate firewall. So let me show you. This is actually the router slash net mode. Net mode by default. And behind the next generation firewall, we are going to have our LAN. so this is going to be our lan so we have some pieces over here in this lan so in this mode what fortigate firewall is exactly going to do lan and wan okay so in this lan we have one private ip we have one private subnet which is going to be 192.168.10.0/24 as this firewall is running as router/net mode so this lan is going to be hidden by this next generation firewall so whatever the traffic is coming from this lan and then receiving by this fortinet firewall Fortinet Fire, firewall is so this traffic is going to be hidden by this Fortinet firewall, and this Fortinet firewall ultimately passing this traffic to the ISP. I mean the internet, and internet will be able to see only these WAN IP addresses. So there will be translation between private and public network. So in this firewall, we'll be having one. translation table private to public and then private public to private public back to private so usually in this you know public network when network this will be published which is the when ip addresses and my lan ip addresses will be hidden lan subnet will be hidden by the fortigate next generation firewall so on the other hand i'm going to show you the transparent mode firewall so transparent mode firewall 
that will be ISP. So ISP will be connected to router, router and then router is directly connected to the Fortinet firewall. FW Fortinet firewall and this behind the next generation Fortinet firewall we are going to have the LAN. So in this LAN we have some PCs. We have some PCs. So this is going to be our transparent, transparent, transparent firewall. So in this transparent firewall, no configuration is required except management and the default gateway. So our default gateway will be this one, this interface IP address, and then there will be one uh, management manage IP address. So basically, this transparent firewall. No configuration is required except manage, manage IP and the gateway. So usually, you know, this transparent firewall is doing whatever the traffic he is receiving from the LAN. So this is going to be our LAN. And this is going to be our WAN. So whatever the traffic he is going to receive from the LAN and then received by the firewall from the LAN and then ultimately passing to the router. And then router will do you know rest of the jobs and then router will pass this traffic to the ISP. So our will be our Fortinet firewall will be the transparent. So let me go back to the Fortinet FortiGate firewall. Admin oops admin123 so if you go to dashboard and then click on status, so you will be able to see this mode NAT. So by default, we are going to have the router slash NAT mode as opposed to have the transparent. But if you want to change this mode router slash NAT, NAT mode to transparent mode, you are going to have, let me click on this, let me, let me have the console, Fortinet console. Username admin admin123 config system settings config system settings and then set set mode set op mode is going to be transparent when you click enter now you will have to give manage IP and the default gateway so you are going to have one manage IP and the default gateway only so no configuration is required except manage IP and the default gateway so after entering now our firewall will be converted to transparent mode and then you will see over here the mode will be converted to transparent and one more thing I'm going to show you the next generation firewall profile based versus versus the policy based let me go back to the fortinet fortigate firewall again if you go to policy and objects and then ip version 4 policy as you can see we are having four policies over here one is lan and then another second one is going to be the dmz actually so this is going to be dmz dmz we are going to have lan policy LAN IP version 4 policy, DMZ policy, LAN to DMZ and then DMZ back to LAN. So we are going to have four policies and one more policy we have which is implicit deny. So by default, this policy has by default. So I have created only these four policies, one, two, three and four. So let me go to the system and in this system, we are going to have settings so under settings if you scroll down a little bit and then you are going to have next generation firewall mode profile based and policy based so by default we have profile based policy so in this profile based policy as you can see central snet is disabled by default so if you do not enable this central snet policy so you are not going to have the separate SNET section 
for configuring the net so as you can see if you go to policy and object you will be able to see that there is no net section s net central s net separate section for net configuration so whenever you create ip version 4 policy you are going to have net enabled by default so i have created four policies over here all these you know four policies that is enabled by default let me click on let me double click on this sequence number two dmz underscore one and dot one six eight dot eleven dot zero as you can see firewall slash network operations net is enabled but there is no separate section for this rule let me go back to system and settings again and then we have one more next generation firewall mode which is policy based when you click in this policy based as you can see there is no central snet option over here when you click on apply so you will be having let me you will be having separate snet section central snet section for net configuration under policy and objects so under over here just after ip version 4 policy there will be one separate section central snet section for configuring the source net so by default we have right now profile based in my upcoming sessions we are going we are going to configure policy based security policy so we are going to have the central snet separate section for net source net configuration so the profile based next generation firewall mode is the traditional mode where you create a profile like antivirus profile wave filter profile and so on and the, and then apply the profile to a particular policy so in this policy based mode i'm going to talking about this one policy based mode next generation firewall mode you allow application and url categories directly to the security policies without requiring the profile set so we do not need to set the profile for this particular policy this particular policy because we can app, we can apply application directly to the policy itself without requiring the profile set you know this policy based mode we are going to have separate snet section for configuring snet which is enabled always if not you know we will have to create one snet policy i mean we must have to create one snet policy and when you create you know snet policy you will see you know some unexpected results in uh, policy based profile we are going to see all those things i hope this video has been informative for you and if you like this video subscribe this channel share this video to all your friends and colleagues thank you for watching